Today we're going to look at how you can get your data off of your SSD, your two and a half inch SSD, or your two and a half inch hard disk drive, and onto your computer. And to do this, we're going to use this device. This is basically a external USB drive, but without a drive inside it. So what you would do is take your SSD or hard disk drive, put it inside this case, connect the case up to your computer using a USB cable, which is included with this device. And then you can easily get your files off of your SSD or hard disk drive. You can also use this as an external USB drive. At the time of this recording, this device costs £10.99 on Amazon in the UK or $11.99 in the USA. The requirements to use this device are Windows 11 to Windows XP and it also works with Linux and Mac OS. You'll need a spare USB port on your laptop or desktop computer and your SSD or hard disk drive needs to have this type of physical connection called Serial ATA to be able to plug it into the external drive enclosure. This device will take any 2.5 inch SSD and any 2.5 inch hard disk drive with a height of 7 or 9.5 millimeters. The device is plug and play, so you can simply plug this device into your computer and it works within seconds, which I'll show you in a moment. Included in the box is the USB drive enclosure itself and a USB cable which has USB type A connectors at both ends and there's also some instructions here too. The drive itself, if I take it out, it's not too much bigger than a two and a half inch SSD or a two and a half inch hard disk drive as you can see here and the height of the enclosure is 15 millimeters. There's an on off switch, a port for the USB cable and a power light that also doubles up as a data transfer light. Data can be transferred up to 5 gigabits per second when connected to a USB 3.0 port and up to 480 megabits per second when connected to a USB 2.0 port. So now let's try out this device. So first I'm going to switch the on off switch to the off position and then open up the case, just slide it and take the top off and first let's try out this two and a half inch SSD so the SSD connections here to slide into here on the case so let's put that in now and then put the top back on. Next, connect the device to a laptop or desktop computer with the USB cable. If you are using Windows 10 or 11, click on File Explorer, then this PC. In the Devices and Drive section, you will see your new drive appear after a few seconds when you've turned the device on. When it appears, double click on it. And here are all your files and folders from your external drive. You can now copy anything from here and onto your computer. So let's see how fast it can copy two gigabytes of data from the external SSD and onto the computer. Well, it transferred two gigabytes of data from the external device and onto the computer in just a few seconds. Next, I turn the device off, disconnected the cable, took the top off, removed the SSD, 
put the hard disk drive in, put the top back on, connected it to the computer, turned it on, and ran the same test again, transferring two gigabytes of data, this time from the hard disk drive, and onto the computer. This is taking quite a bit longer, but this is because the hard disk drive is slower than the SSD we were using before. Data transfer speeds can vary a lot depending on the drive itself, the number of files being transferred, whether you're writing to the drive or reading from the drive, and the USB port you use. For example, using a USB 2.0 port on your computer can give slower transfer rates compared to when using a USB 3.0 port. So the 2GB folder finished transferring from the hard disk drive and onto the computer, but this was quite a bit slower than when we transferred data from the SSD to the computer. I ran two more tests, which were writing a 2GB folder from the computer to the hard disk drive and from the computer to the SSD. Your results may vary, but hopefully this gives you an idea of how long it takes to transfer data. So that was how to get your data off of your 2.5 inch drive and onto your computer. I'll leave a link in the description below in case you'd like to check it out for yourself. Well that's it for today, thanks for watching, see you next time.